have to pay to join yeah, society. It's a, it's a scam. They have to pay. <laughs> you see what I did there? <laughs> it's a scam. <laughs> Are all uni students alcohol? Yes. Does everybody get with everybody? Is it like and there's annoying people at the back chatting, chewing, typing. Oh my god! Oh Why do you have to bang me? Five o'clock in the morning. Who the hell sit off the fire? Who is smoking a fight in their room? <laughs> 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 Silly Karen. Mm, exactly. Are all uni students broke? Yeah. It's pretty much. Hey guys, it's me Brendan and welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here and you've never seen me before, then make sure you subscribe. And don't forget to turn on that notification bell so you never miss a post. And today I am joined by... Precious Faith with the O as an X. So today I'm going to be answering questions you're too afraid to ask a uni student and we're both uni students. So the first one I have here is, does everybody get with everybody? Um, yes. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I, I see why people say it. Um, like everyone gets to everyone. I'm not gonna lie to you. No, there's no there's no bro code, girl code in the beginning of uni. Yeah. Unless you go to uni with friends that you had in the past. From the past, yeah. Like a group of you guys. But everybody does get everybody, it's just how it's like the first month. Was Freshers Week fun? What was your do you think it was fun? For me it was fun. I feel like mine had the potential to be so fun, but I missed all of it. Why? Homesick, I had freshers flu. I don't know how I had. Did you have freshers flu? I did get sick of it a little bit. Everyone gets fresh, week. Even if you don't go out, you get freshers flu. Yeah, that's the scariest so part. So I had freshers flu, and then as well, like I didn't, because I didn't come out of my accommodation. I didn't yeah. even know what events were on, so I missed no. all of them. Freshers week doesn't last a week. It's like a whole yeah, month. it's a whole month. <laughs> it's basically the whole of term yeah. one. I didn't even start my course until the end of the month. What, yeah, what subject did you study, by the way? I study psychology. I study photography. So more creative than yours, like more like actual academic thinking <laughs> brain. Yeah. In the studio, we didn't do work and we literally had a trip to it must Paris. Must be so nice. The next month we went on a trip to Paris, like only hundred pounds deposit and we got the money back as well. Uh, so Freshers Week is literally a whole month. But leave it to like the Mac, because once it's gone, it's gone. It's gone. I had like 14 flatmates and like a bunch of us went out together partying like nearly every single day. First freshers week. It must be nice. So all different clubs around London. And it was the London experience. Uh, I think there's another question here. London or outside of London, which is better. So if you're from London, I think it's better to go out. Yeah. Just because London itself is like, there's no excitement to it, in my personal opinion. It is just expensive and there's no excitement to it. <laughs> it's just had expensive for no reason. For no reason. And I feel like more time, we're not really going to move out of London. Yeah. So if you want to take one opportunity, let it be uni. Go out of London. I'm in the Midlands. I'm in London, so we have two different experiences here. Literally. For me, it was fun because I was getting, although I know the area of London, for me, the experience was meeting new people, doing a different course, not necessarily exploring a new town or whatever like it wasn't that deep for me like outside of the midlands everywhere is quite close together so i can easily go to coventry birmingham everywhere leicester we're yeah. close together tell me about it man. does everyone join a society is it necessary to join a society it's not necessary to join a society but if you feel like you're gonna have problems making friends then join one definitely that's a big fact realistically no one even goes to the societies i joined like five of them i can't even name them <laughs> I, I joined the film society only because they offer us free screening and um, free popcorn Love. every thursday <laughs> and of course i'm going to take the opportunity to mm -hmm. go and watch a whole fat screen it was also like the african caribbean what's it called again acf I joined it, but it was at the other campus, and I didn't want to travel. Oh, my ACS was so dead, I couldn't do it. <laughs> exactly. It was so dead, like, no, everyone thinks you have to join a society, but you don't have to. Mm. And one thing they don't tell you, you have to pay to join yeah, society. It's a, it's a scam. They have to pay. <laughs> you see what I did there? It's a scam. <laughs> <laughs> do people form groups in uni classes? Like, when you go to lectures, are there, like, groups of people? Yeah, you, some people do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, like for instance, you just make a couple one-two jokes with the person next to you, <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then the other person, and you become a little group. Mm -hmm. And even though you may not be a group outside lectures, you just know every time you get to lecture, that's yeah, someone sitting next to you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, every time you know. <laughs> Literally. And sometimes they'll just come up to you and be like, especially during the first month, someone's like to me, "Do you want to go for like lunch somewhere? Do you want to go for coffee?" Just mm -hmm. like everybody needs to get to know each other, but. Mm -hmm. I lived, someone in my flat I lived with, they did the same course as me, so I guaranteed had someone to go to the oh, lecture. Oh, you're lucky. I was in my safe zone and we both enjoyed each other's company and were good friends. And then we knew someone else on the course, we mm -hmm. met fresh this week, and so basically all three of us would go together. Oh, and we'd like so encourage each other to go to lectures. I would wake yeah. up and not want to go. I was just like, I can't be up today, it's like a 10am, 9am, I'm not going. Mm -hmm. 
and then we just like force each other to go basically. Oh, that's lucky I didn't have that. <laughs> but there were also groups as well. You can just see the different people divided, but we just stuck to our mini group. And because lectures are so big, you can literally see the gaps between groups because yeah, nobody's yeah. trying to sit next to anybody. Like, no. <laughs> if you come to lecture, you try and sit. Like, and there's annoying people at the back chatting, chewing, typing. Oh my god, oh why do you have to bang the keyboard for? Why? There's no need. Like, they should ban laptops in lectures. No, it makes you so angry. When is one about skipping lectures? Like, is it acceptable to skip a lecture? It's not acceptable, but there's no punishment. <laughs> it's not like you're gonna get detention. You're not gonna get detention. An hour, you get a warning or something. <laughs> exactly. I think you get a warning after skipping like three, maybe, because they check your attendance when you tap your card. I don't know if you had that. No, we didn't. Uh, at every we had, door, we had an ID tap. You know what we had? We had a QR code, so basically on the screen. So, what happens no. is if you know one person in the lecture, they take a picture of the code and you screenshot it at home. What? We didn't have, but that's, I know some smart, people had a fob. No. So, some people just come, tap the fob, and then go back home. <laughs> Or like we, we tap it uh, before the break and then they give us like a 20 minute break to get Yeah, coffee. yeah, you we can- We dip, we go, we run. <laughs> We're not coming back to that hall. <laughs> so I'm serious, but- <laughs> No, that's yeah, true. You can get away with one, two like early morning lectures, but if you skip so many, you're going to be so behind. You're going to be you so behind. anything. Every day at uni, you learn something new. There's no carry on. Like you literally learn no. something new. On top of that, if your attendance is really, really poor, student finance, they stop giving it to you. Oh. They stop giving it to you because really? it's like, you're meant to use this finance to go to school, but you're not yeah. going to school. So and sometimes the lecturers will add extra notes on with like that they have and they won't upload it onto like whatever classroom thing you have. We had blackboards so they upload the presentations but it was just like one two word on the screen. Oh pictures. yeah yeah. But they actually have the full notes, so you have to yeah, like it's not be there to hear it basically. Is the horse experience worth it living in horse? Hundred percent. I I would love I love it. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. I will hundred percent. Like hundred percent. Hundred percent. Because the thing is, yeah, there's just there's just some, um, there's just not, it's just nice living horse, you know. Yes. Even the fire alarm, like everybody, that's just culture. Oh like, my god. <laughs> Five o'clock in the morning, who the hell sit off the fire? Who's smoking like, in their room? <laughs> or an incense <laughs> stick? Why is that needed? Candles burning, the fire alarm goes off <laughs> so much, you get mad, but it's just a part of the experience. Like, did you have to leave though, or like, can you just stay in your room? First five times, I was the idiot to leave. Oh, no, no. <laughs> and then after that, I no, sat they, they in my room. Security comes down the corridor and gets you out of your room. They, knock, they go through all the doors, everything. <laughs> I was doing and I set it off one time. <laughs> I was so embarrassed. They came bursting into my room with the security guards. I was like, Apart from that though, making friends, like flatmates and stuff, being independent, buying your own groceries, cooking. And, and security, yeah. it does feel good to have security there because like for instance, if you, forget, if you forget your key, they're there to let you in. Sometimes mm -hmm. in houses it can be very different and it's just nice. Right. And halls as well keep you updated with what's happening at uni, whereas houses have nothing to do with the uni. Yeah, or like your own independent studio, some next company. Mm -hmm. Like you're not going to be part of the group, you won't know what's going on. We had like afternoon brunches like in our common rooms, like no one attended it, but it was still there. Yeah, ours, they made pancakes. For Pancake Day, they made mm -hmm. pancakes, they made loads of stuff. Like, ours did World National Cupcake Day. Like, uh, and our campus had like a laundry room. We had a cat that lives on campus, his name's Batman, a oh fat gosh. cat. Oh Everybody gosh. loves him, though. Do you want to explain, like, your horse, like, what yours is like compared to mine? Okay, so mine is like, mine is more like a 10 minute away, walk away from the uni, and like, Mine is, because mine is built of a lot of studios, it's kind of different. So it's very individualistic here, but we do have like the same cookouts, the way he does, like the way everyone comes together. In our laundry room, we don't have anything exciting. Literally, yeah. we just have a seat to sit down there. But other than that, yeah. And as well, like a good thing, like say you're someone who likes to online shop a lot, in accommodations, they pick up your package for you. So no matter if you're not home, you always get yeah, your package. Yeah, that's so true. Which is, because the amount of times I've missed my mm -hmm. packages. Um. For my whole experience, we have the standard room, so it's like a small. Well, we all had shit. We all had small beds in the mouths, the room size. But um, some had like en suites, some mm. had extra large rooms with en suites, and that was my one. So mm -hmm. I had like a toilet and shower in my room. It was quite big, and we had underfloor heating as well. <gasps> you see, that's so lucky. I wish I had that. <laughs> but you pay way more. Then you have like I think it was like ten studios. But the rest is like the majority is all standard rooms and you had like they call it a posh block mm -hmm. which was my block so every floor in my block was the posh block basically there was two kitchens so seven on that side seven on that side okay so whatever side you live on the corridor that's your kitchen so how many people per kitchen like seven oh. so it's literally split in half and then you have your own shelves that are allocated to each person one shelf oh. and one freezer shelf and then one microwave one kettle one oven when i tell you the kitchens get messy I was knocking on Karen's door, telling Karen, <laughs> get out there get out. and clean it. Near enough, everybody I knew who shared mm -hmm. a kitchen got into arguments. Is you always clash. Uh, this was a question, are the kitchens absolute mess? Yes, they yes. are. Yes. 
I'm sorry, whenever I go to visit my friends, the kitchens are a state mm -hmm. because it's like, and the cleaners only come on certain times yeah, and like certain days. Yeah, for us. Oh, what, once a week? Mm -hmm. Me, I had to like say something in the group chat sometimes. It <laughs> got that bad. Like I, had, I took a picture, I was like, was look one. at the pile. Go clean it, get out of your room. <laughs> Couldn't. And then you, you see them sneak out in the kitchen so you don't know it's them. <laughs> And I, I, bar I barge into the, the, the kitchen and they're like, oh, so it was you! It was you! <laughs> Do people ever use your like cups or take your food? Oh, <gasps> I heard that happens gosh. in shared kitchens. No, because you have like just, you have cupboards, anyone can just go into them. There's no locks on our oh, one. Sugar. And then the fridge is obviously anyone can go into the fridge. Yeah. And someone, Susan or Karen, mm -hmm. went to the other kitchen, stole their cup stuff, <laughs> went to the other kitchen, used it, and the person, who stuff was literally binned it straight after. I was like, like I think cutlery or plate bowl or mm -hmm. something. They binned it. They don't want that DNA on it. But like, oh, no. Wow. Our flat mates annoying. With your studio, are people like in yes, noisy? Because you know what it is. Nobody respects anybody's time. Like it can be four a.m. and they don't care if anybody blasting sleeping, music, shouting through the corridors. Olly, party, olly, yeah. olly. <laughs> annoying. They bang people's doors. They drop. They just, just I'm not gonna lie. I was like a part of all of that. Oh, so you was that guy? <laughs> no, guys. They're I'm gonna pull your hair out. That was a point, yeah, when I actually got angry and I came out and I was sorry to fight, but nobody was there. But I never, I'd never do it to my, mm, okay, I did, but not like <laughs> the first month, security guards knew our name. Every single day. That's how day, bad you are. No, just my name. flat. We would party every single day so hard, like for a few weeks, we were just partying hard. Because mm -hmm. no other like flat on Posh Block was doing it, so it had to be us. We just so had to be there. <laughs> you guys can see the vlogs, like Freshers Week vlog, last day of uni vlog, moving in there. Yeah, here's the. <laughs> <laughs> What happened? What happened? No, 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 no. The lens just dropped. Drop. Do I look like a hundred? <laughs> 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 Too lit. The like, party didn't happen. It looks so lit. The first day, like the second day we moved in, there's a spare bedroom. No one moved in yet, so we used the bedroom as a party room. The way we trashed well, the rooms it. The room's open. You guys can enter it. I don't know why it was open, but it was. <laughs> and the guy came the next day and he was sticking his shower. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 Someone came like a whole suit and like cleaned it out and stuff. Oh I felt no. bad because I didn't know no one was going to move yeah. in. Yeah, so, oh no, bless him. Then after that, it was just a kitchen. I got my speakers in there with blasting music. Security come, can you turn the music now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Five minutes later, music's back on blast. Guys, don't be a Brendan. You will lose your head. Like, they, they make you want to scream. There's so many things At one like point, we had to run into the shower, all of us, but, like the shower room, mm -hmm. and just hide before security, like, kicked us out. Hey, <laughs> we're all hiding. Oh, no, he's coming in by himself. <laughs> He's going to go on. Yeah, Hi, Sash. Right. Oh, shit. Hey. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, his face. Oh, his face. <laughs> I'm out here hiding in the bathroom. Security. Um, do you guys eat pasta and pot noodles every single day? Mm. No. I did have pot noodles in my drawer for emergencies, like going on a night out. Like, I feel like everybody it. has needles on deck. You have to have it just in case. But I actually did like some meals. I actually cooked meals and stuff because it's experience, so you gotta learn to cook one day. Yeah, and the funny thing about at uni, you think you're not gonna cook, you actually end up cooking so much more than you think you would. Yeah. Just because, like, one, you start craving some stuff like some mm -hmm. home yeah. food. Yeah, but so, no, Karen, be pasta bake every single day of the week. No, the but you same, can't go the wrong with pasta bake. No, but the same food. No, you can't go wrong with pasta bake. You don't get sick of the flavour. No, I would have spaghetti bolognese or lasagna every day of my life. You bought that pasta bake, like it's the same food. And she leaves the jars with the liquid. Oh no. With the bits in it. No. She leaves it to marinate. Oh, Karen. Once she's used it. Oh, silly mm, Karen. Exactly. Mm. So we've got the jars left outside the door. When she opened the door, she walks through. <laughs> <laughs> Are all uni students broke? Yeah. It's pretty much like if on the same budget here, unless daddy and mummy pays for it. Yeah. And even like that, like we're just all broke. Because the funny thing is we all have jobs and we're still broke. Because like we said, everyone's alcoholic. It's expensive. It's expensive. Everyone's a partier. Partying is expensive. Mm -hmm. Everybody's trying to stunt with clothes. Oh my I <laughs> When I told the exchange students, so all in Belgium, <gasps> Gucci. Exchange students. Nah, they oh, know how to. Guys, exchange students make you feel so broke. Like, you know our Air Forces, Alex, Alexander McQueen's. That's their go-to. That's their equivalent. That's their Alexander equivalent McQueen's. Term. I saw the socks. Gucci umbrella. That's the fact. There's no need for that. Why? It's still broke. You have to like budget so hard. You can survive with budget, like just maintenance. Like some people can. Yeah. Even on Max, you can't like. The but, thing is, money just goes without you realizing. Mm -hmm. Like Ubers, everything, and it, it doesn't help that around. I don't know about your uni, but like mm -hmm. my uni, Pizza Hut, McDonald's, they don't close to five a.m. 
I think we had 24 hour McDonald's. So yeah, pizza yeah, and big Domino's. Like 3 a.m. All of those places, they don't close till late. It's smart though. Yeah, it is smart. Is it true you can flop first year and get away with it? No. I don't think it is. Once you once you mess up one module. That's the worst thing. Over. If you if you mess up one module, you have to do the redo. Because the credits all add up and it's literally how minimum you have to pass. Yeah. The essays you do as well. So you do have to pass first year. It may not count in your final grade, but it matters if you to want get to, to the next level yeah, exactly. the next year, you're gonna need to do that. Mm-hmm. So yeah, don't like mess about too much. Like I think the first few months you can mess about. Yeah. As long as you know the stuff. And know yourself. Like if you're someone who can keep, uh, can catch up. If you're someone who's a last minute person, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, you can do it. But if you're someone who actually need time to study, don't risk it. Just don't. Do you miss home living away? Yeah. You feel an element of loneliness, yeah, you, do. you do. Like your mum's shouting, you actually would want it at one point. Oh, like, I don't know about, nah, no. about that one. Really? The everyday moaning. God, there was one, one point I actually wish I just heard my mum shout, pressure. No. Someone's like, oh, they're scared of making friends. Do you have any tips? Um, okay, so my tips personally for you, just be yourself, honestly, because where uni is so big, mm. you will find someone... You have someone that will be on the same vibe as you. 100%. And the thing is, don't think you're going to find them straight away. If you think like that, then that's when you're going to be set yourself up for a downfall. Mm -hmm. But you will find your friends. So just honestly, make your friends, come out of your shell, like, tell them about what you did for Freshers Week to, like... On the first day I moved in, I was so shook. I didn't know how to make friends. Like, I'm an introvert. I can't even speak like this. Like, this is too much for me already. <laughs> I'm already like about to explode. But I had my vlogging camera. I was like, you know what? I spoke to someone in the kitchen previously. So we was, we was like to him, I was like to him, because he's a second year student. I was like, how did you communicate with your friends and stuff? Mm -hmm. He's like, we just go and knock on everyone's doors, got them in the kitchen. So what did I do? Knocked on every single person, 14 doors. Well, 13, because I have one of them. Mm -hmm. I was like, guys, you want to come to the kitchen? We're going to do like some icebreakers, truth or dare. Would you rather just get to know each other? Mm -hmm. We all gradually came to the kitchen. Some people came late, so they were like, they arrived, opened the kitchen door, and everyone's just sitting there. Oh, that's that awkward. would have been scary for me. So awkward. But then we did like, we just got to know each other, got to know the names, background all that kind of stuff and we had a lot in common and it was kind of like mad like wow we all come from different backgrounds and, yet and then still... you so that's the craziest thing about mm -hmm. uni let's go <laughs> these are my roommates over here okay. what's up that is <laughs> different ages as well age groups we had like someone who's 22 23 yeah. i was just like 19. i know i know another question that people have asked me actually is that be an older student at uni are you at a disadvantage no, no not at all not no. at all as in more i know more 22 year olds mm -hmm. than 19 year olds yes like, so if you feel like you're behind or you're not keeping up or like or first year, you're not as young as a first year lot no you're good a lot of people take gap years and stuff 100 percent. and like your lectures are filled with a lot of, i have somebody in my lecture that's 55. uh like, mine was 70? Yeah, we have all, like, yeah, there's like four ranges old. there. Yeah, trust me. So honestly, no age matters. Like, go to uni. If you want to get your degree, get your degree. Don't no let anything stop you. No matter how old you are, just go. 100%. Is it worth the debt? No. It's not? I'm not going to lie Why is it free in Scotland? I'm a pain. It's free in Scotland? Yeah. What the hell? <laughs> you, you're means... so close to Scotland right what? now. What? <laughs> no, Dundee. I was even thinking about going. Where's Dundee? <laughs> it's in Scotland. Dundee, Dundee. Dundee. I don't know what that is. Dundee. Is it uni? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, like why? I don't know. It's, it's actually a joke. scam. No, it's a, it's a joke. Did you see what I did there? It was a scam. No. <laughs> <laughs> but should I tell you why it's bad? Because I'm telling you, the lecturers don't teach you unless you do like courses like yours. No, they don't teach me shit. Oh, I don't, I don't know, I psychology. Don't know. I can learn that in a book and YouTube. You don't. The lecturers just read from other stuff. You don't. Oh, they give me their studies. I don't care about your study. Like I don't care about your. Someone. Study. Uh, there's a whole lecture on someone's life. When a lecturer spoke about their life for the whole, I was like, no, you're not. I'm getting out of here. It's not worth the debt, but it's one of the ones where if you started it, you might as well finish it. 9,250 9, a year. Imagine you're a six year course. I, I can't even do the maths. It's like K's, a lot of K's. A maintenance went on to that? Yeah, that's a joke. You're paying it off for it's life. It's a lot of money. You're paying it off for life. But like, if you're not 100% on what you want to be in life, and if your course doesn't need psychology, um, doesn't need, need degree. then just don't yeah, do it. Yeah, because other ways you can do online courses, yeah. you can do apprenticeships, like that's not the only way in life. And I feel like now in this century, more people are successful without uni than with They want more experience than anything. 100%, it speaks way better for you. So guys, that's the end of the questions uh, and also the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, then please leave a like. And if you're new around here and you've never seen me before, then make sure you subscribe. Follow her socials, link in the description to her channel as well. Thank you for being here. Anytime. And I hope I answered a lot of questions that were useful to you guys. Anyone planning to go to university, leave a like if you actually needed some advice and we answered blah, 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 blah. <laughs> um, Yeah, peace out. <laughs>